Okay, so I just connected to my OBD Fusion because I have a check engine light that came on and I want to check out the the problem. So this vehicle is not ready for emission testing. Mill on Yep. Okay, what was what was the problem? Are these are these the problems? I got several uh, checks and unchecks. I don't fully understand that. I was just gonna look for the uh, yeah maybe the di no no no. Maybe it's in the diagnostics, I believe, somewhere. No? Uh, logs? No? Yeah, not maps. Dashboard? Um, okay, yeah. I didn't turn the car on yet. 12.2 volts. I think that might be kind of low. I might be uh, doing something to the battery that's unfavorable. No, oh, I see. It's down below here. I was in the PID values. Okay, the freeze frame when the when the trouble occurred. Okay, so I just record that. Calculated load value, short term fuel trim. This is when it occurred. The freeze frame. Okay, so that's that covers that. Maybe I should turn the brightness up. Maybe that can help. Maybe that can help. All right, so that's freeze frame, not trouble codes. All right, so read that. And I have catalyst system efficiency below threshold P0128. Okay, now I got this information. I'm not going to run any live diagnostics. What I want to do next now is I'm going to shut off the car. I'm going to pull pull the the EBD reader okay now this screen actually stays on unlike that French one okay this this e EOBD facile it just goes crazy when you unplug but OBD fusion does not it stays really stable so now I'm back on the Middleton library uh, can I, I'm back on the actual internet and now I can investigate this this catalytic system. I'll, I'll click that, and then it has this online lookup. Just tap it. All right. So now that's the trouble code and the information. All right. I got a lot to learn here. Communication has occurred. I can just dismiss, yeah, because the French one would be going crazy. And then I can, I can uh, read more up on this.